All right, I'm just going to bounce around between a few uh, bits of evidence uh, related to uh, neuromuscular dentistry and the Alberta Dental Authority and the Nevada Board, just to show different connections. So here's Dr. Jack Scott, who was uh, on Alberta uh, Dental Council uh, at the same time that the Orem Ceramic Lab owner was given the honorary membership to the Alberta Dental Association and uh, that was 2001 so uh, he was on the board probably president at the time and then he ended up as a, a juror uh, against a dentist who wrote a book about uh, over treatment now um, if we bounce around to um, Another connection with Alberta is Dr. Norman Thomas. Now he was um, our favorite uh, professor when we were in dental school and we graduated in 1986. And he had an interest in, uh, in uh, treating people with headaches and that kind of thing. And he became uh, part of LVI. So. Uh, LVI is the Las Vegas Institute uh, out of uh, Nevada, which is associated with Orem Ceramic Lab. So the, um, uh, the this professor from the University of Alberta uh, Dental School was uh, pushing uh, for recognition of LVI in by the by the uh, Nevada Dental Board. So. In a statement uh, he makes to the Nevada board, he's a professor uh, of the uh, of assorted positions accredited by the ADA, and um, practice, uh, he was from the University of Alberta with honors from University of Bristol. And let's see, he was, uh, he heard about uh, the Institute in Las Vegas. He was already um, interested in neuro, the neuromuscular approach, but uh, his approach was quite different than, than it was applied at LVI. But uh, anyway, he made a big, uh, big pitch for them, and he said he's pleased to support this bill and um, brags about. Uh, 20% of the students being from Canada and he says he's the ambassador for evidence-based dentistry uh, of the ADA. I'm not sure if that means the Alberta Dental Association or the American Dental Association. So uh, again, it's a little bit strange because uh, if he's referring to evidence-based dentistry and, and now uh, neuromuscular dentistry is being questioned as far as uh, being actually a valid approach and it's banned now in Ontario and Manitoba. So, so there's a connection, uh, multiple connections uh, with uh, Dr. Scott from the uh, Alberta Dental Authority and the dental lab that promoted LVI courses through um, the Dental Authority newsletter and uh, our professor from dental school, Dr. Thomas, who's also again from Edmonton, Alberta. So there's uh, two two de prominent dentists and um, now we go to the uh, fast forward we find uh, a patient in Nevada uh, Mr. David Moore and he is uh, talking to the Nevada Dental Board you'll have to look this up on YouTube and you'll find that he has suffered uh, terrible terribly from uh, treatment by numerous LVI treated dentists or an LVI uh, trained dentists and another uh, patient that's gone uh, public with her concerns uh, is Andrea and she can she can be found on YouTube as well and she has been had her teeth uh, all drilled down for um, crowns uh, when they didn't need it and now her LVI dentist split town and left her in temporaries and and she's uh, having to deal with that so we're going to find another victim uh, this is a, a book I wrote about uh, 
a victim of uh, LVI treatment in the San Francisco area. And uh, again, uh, she had her full mouth drilled down for caps to be used uh, as a cure for headaches, I think it was. And uh, she ended up suing the dentist and it just got complicated with, uh, with uh, the remedy trying to correct what was already done to her teeth. So it, it uh, she's, uh, she's basically a dental cripple now. If we go to the same area, this uh, prosthodontist actually, um, where is she, uh, Donna Barple, at uh, this point in time in this video, 15 minute mark or so, this video is worth watching uh, for this little section, uh, this interviewing of six specialists by Dr. Howard Fran. Uh, she discusses the, you know, the top way she would recommend avoiding a uh, malpractice lawsuit is to avoid uh, LVI seminars. So she's telling dentists to, new dentists, to uh, avoid taking these seminars so that they're not uh, uh, drawn into the approach that is taught by that program. So again, we've got connection all the way from Alberta to Nevada, and this is in California. This, uh, they did uh, training across uh, the world and there's patients over 20 years getting uh, making complaints about what has happened to them and the dental authorities uh, some of them are, are beginning to uh, take it seriously and others uh, like Alberta are actually punishing uh, dentists who speak out about uh, over treatment so uh, very unusual situation but it's, it's good to do some research and uh, listen to the victims and uh, try to avoid it if, if possible.